even just with a medium-term estimate of $5 billion, which is what the Fraser Institute said for the last buyback before we even included new firearms through the proposed amendments, we could make quick work of many outstanding needs. At a cost of $3 million U.S. dollars, that is how much the Grand Caymans just spent this year, $3 million for a shipping container scanning system. Modern shipping container scanning system. Three million dollars. It doesn't just find firearms. It finds all contraband, including drugs. And in a nation of Canada where I believe we have 119 ports of entry, we convert five million Canadian dollars into U.S. dollars, we could literally buy ten, ten of these scanning devices for every port of entry. Now you tell me, and to the Canadians who are watching, you tell me which is likely to have a larger impact on public safety. Being able to scan virtually every vehicle and every container that comes into our country, or taking property away that's sitting there idly in the lockers and vaults of everyday Canadians. Only 1% of containers currently passing through our ports of entry are scanned. That's it. 1%. We obviously need to improve this if we're going to stem the tide of illegal firearms moving north from our southern neighbour. Speaking of which, a large number of Border Patrol officers could also be hired to ensure a further reduction in cross-border smuggling. After all, most of the guns used in urban gang shootings are smuggled in illegally at a staggering 85% according to the Toronto Police. On the social services side of the things we could surely throw in that $875 million that the Liberals promised in their last election campaign for mental health, which I would argue is probably at the root for most of the gun violence that we have in this country. If